This is Lewis with Alpha Omega Amusements, back with another episode of Tech Tips. Today we'll be looking at Down the Clown. I have two issues going on with the game that I'd like to show you, so let's not waste any time and jump right in. The first problem we will address has to do with the upper clown rack, which isn't re-racking like the middle and lower racks do. There are some common things that can cause this malfunction to happen, such as a ball blocking the bracket connected to the racking motor, the motor itself may be no good, even the wiring harness connected to the motor may be unplugged or ripped out. After first checking to see if a wedge ball may be the culprit, then looking to see if the plug was disconnected and finding nothing. I went and multimetered the motor to see if it was A, receiving power, or B, if it wasn't put outputting any power, which turned out to be the case. So now that we know it's a bad motor, we will need to replace it. As always, make sure you turn the game off before doing any repairs. The easiest way to do this repair is by removing the whole rack with the motor still mounted to it. The tools you're going to need to complete this job is a Phillips screwdriver, either an Allen key wrench or an Allen key bit with a driver, and an open-ended wrench as well. Start by unplugging the motor if you haven't done so already. Then, unscrew the four Allen bolts holding the rack assembly in place, followed by taking off the nut holding the rest of the bracket onto the game. Once you have the rack at your workbench, you will need to loosen and take off both the triangle plate on the shaft of the racking motor and the two screws that hold the motor to the rack assembly. Now take your new motor and remount it onto the racking assembly, as well as refaceting the triangle plate on the motor shaft. From here, just reattach the whole rack back in place by tightening both the Allen bolts and bracket nut. Before we move on to the next issue, let's turn the game on to check and see if we resolve the first one. With the first repair out of the way, let's move on to the next one. As you can see, we are having a similar issue to the first one we went over, except this time it's the middle rack that isn't working properly. After doing some investigating, I noticed the motor was running, but the rack wasn't lifting itself up. A closer look revealed the triangle plate connected to the motor shaft was loose. Thankfully, this is a quick fix, and we have already tightened the same bolt on the previous repair. Now, you don't have to necessarily take the whole rack out in order to resolve the issue if you can gain access to the bolt with everything still in the game. Again, just make sure to turn the game off before doing any repairs. Now that we have tightened the bolt, let's turn the game back on and see if this resolves the issue. Well, that's it for today's episode of Tech Tips. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful for you. And please, feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this and what future videos you would like to see. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.